way of overturning things. I was so excited this, 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 uh, uh, when I was listening to the recorded message this morning, and I saw, you know, I was able to listen to uh, the things that Father and the Lord said about the book of uh, 1 Samuel chapter, 9, uh, chapter 11. I was like, wow, the spirit of the Lord is one. Um, I'm glad I'm able to, to tap into the spirit to be able to know <laughs> what God is saying to our Father and the Lord. Amen. I want us to quickly look at that particular scripture before we pray tonight. It said, in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 11, verse 9, he said, and the, uh, he said, and they said to the messengers, please help, please help bring it up. 1 Samuel 11, 9, he said, and they said to the messengers who came, thus you shall say to the men of garbage Gilead, tomorrow, by the time the sun is hot, you shall have help. He said, tomorrow, by the time the sun is hot, you shall have help. Then the messengers came and reported it to the men of Gabesh and uh, yeah, Jabesh. And they were glad. What happened here? There was a situation I would really recommend if uh, that you listen to uh, the, the, the morning service. Our Father and the Lord was able to like break it down. And wow, I thank God for his grace upon, upon, uh, upon his life. Now I said there was a situation here. The Ammonites, they came against the people of Gabesh Gilead. And the Bible said that Gabesh was a city. Uh, Jabesh was a city in Gilead. And um, this, was the, this was the city that the people of God, that they settled in when they were coming from Egypt. Now the Ammonites, they had always been a threat to the people of Jabesh Gilead. Because the Ammonites, they were the, they were the, they were the people that came against the same people of uh, Jabesh Gilead in the book of Judges where Jephthah came up and he was able and God used him as a deliverer to deliver his people. Now, Ammon, who was the father of the Ammonites, was Abraham's nephew because he was Lord's second son. Lord had two sons and the first one was Moab and the second one was Ammon. So you can see that these people that they are related. So wherever this enmity is coming from, we really don't understand. But that devil is a liar. Amen. Now, they came to war against the people of Jabesh Gilead, and they knew, and the people of Jabesh Gilead knew that these people were stronger than them. And they offered. They said, there's no point fighting you because we don't have your strength. So just take us as your servant. We don't mind. Just take us as your servant. And... Uh, the king, now she said, I'm not ready to take you as my servant, but what I want you to do is that I want your right eye. What does he want you to, what, what does he want to use it for? Is it to attack you to himself so that he was going to have eyes all over his body? He said, the, thing, the only thing that can make me to be satisfied is that if you give me your right eye. But I was now thinking about it that, Holy Spirit, what is this man trying to do? Until I saw in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 1. The Bible said that he who is emasculated by crushing or mutilation shall not come into the assembly of the Lord. So what does that mean? It means that if, your, if any part of your body has been severed, your eye or you are not complete, you are not permitted to come into the presence of the Lord where you will be able to assess help. So he wanted to make them a, strange, a stranger to the God that created them. They will not be able to come into the assembly of the Lord. If you read the book of Leviticus chapter 21, also verse 16 to 21, it also says the same thing. So the enemy wanted to put them at the point where they would not be able to approach God for help. He is interested in enslaving them in a way that nobody will be able to. He wanted to cut, to, to cut help from them. But God sent help. Hallelujah. Help is coming in the precious name of Jesus. Do you think that the situation that you are going through, the poverty, the sicknesses, do you think it glorifies God? No. He doesn't. Tonight, God will deliver you in the precious name of Jesus. Saul, in 1 Samuel chapter 11, verse 9, he said, he said, he sent messengers to them. He said, those you shall say to the men of Jabesh Gilead, tomorrow, by the time the sun is hot, you shall have help. And the messengers came and reported it to the men of, of, of Jabesh and they were glad. People of God, the problems that you are going through, it's not really about you. 
it is the devil's attempt in order to be able to ridicule God's work, God's, God's work of creation. He wants to ensure that he brings you down. He wants to tell God that, ah, look at the, look at the, look at, you know, look at the crown of your creation. You can see what is happening to them. Look at what I've made them to be. But tonight, God will help us in the precious name of Jesus. Why are we here tonight, people of God? We are here because we have come to assess help. We have come to assess help that is accompanied by favor. We have come to roar because that is what lions do. And since we belong to the tribe of the lion of Judah, when we roar, something happens. The Bible said in the book of Osea, chapter 11, verse, uh, verses 9 to 10, it said, I will execute the fierceness of my, of my anger. and I will not again destroy Ephraim, for I am God and not man, the only one in your midst, and I will come with terror. They shall walk after the Lord. He will roar like a lion. When he roars, then his sons shall come trembling from the west. I saw, his, I, 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 I saw a video clip sometime before we pray. We're going to be praying. Uh, I saw a video clip sometime about the lion. He was, he, the lion was being surrounded by, uh, by um, like some hyenas, and they were lost. I don't know if you saw that clip. They were surround, surrounded by a lot of them, and they knew that, yes, said the heater now will now become a meat for us. So there was nothing the lion could do. But every time the lion was just roaring, the lion was roaring, the lion was roaring. Lions, you know, don't cry. I've not seen a lion cry. But whether the, whether the roaring me, meant crying, I really don't know. But that is what it was meant to do. If you are the lion of a tribe of Judah, then where do you get the crying from? He kept roaring, he kept roaring, not knowing that the, 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 more he, the, 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 the more the lion was roaring, the lion was also calling for help. Was calling for help, calling for help. And the mockers were all around and they were all dancing. They would go to it, you know, and, and, and they would touch it. They would try to bite it and things like that. But he came, you know, he got to a point that some other lions came to his rescue. Why? Because he kept roaring. So whenever you are in any situation, when you pray, you're roaring. When you praise, you're roaring. When you are worshiping, you are roaring. So we are, we're, not, we're not supposed to be found in a place where we, are, where, where we are crying or where we are weeping or, or being down or being discouraged. But, you know, the more we keep, the more we roar, the more we pray, the more we worship. We are inviting help. The enemy will be thinking that they are winning. But please, don't stop praying. And that is why we have come tonight to assess help. And the Lord Almighty will come true for us in the precious name of Jesus. Shall we rise on our feet, people of God? It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Oh, Father, we thank you. Joel chapter 3 verse 16. Said, the Lord also will roar from Zion and alter his voice from Jerusalem. The heavens and the earth will shake, but the Lord will be a shelter for his people and the strength of the children of Israel. We're going to be praying. The Bible says in the book, the Bible says concerning uh, um, uh, Abel, yes, that his blood, his blood was crying, you know, for vengeance, crying for vengeance because Cain killed him. The blood does not speak until it has been shed. So the blood of Jesus was shed way before I was born, way, we, way before you were born. But what was the blood of Jesus doing? Speaking better things for us. Therefore, we want to pray. We want to pray this morning. Say, blood of Jesus, avail for me tonight. Speak favor for me. Speak mercy. Speak help for me as I pray tonight in the precious name of Jesus. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus, speak, 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 speak. Avail for me tonight. Speak favor for me in the name of Jesus, even as I pray. In the name of Jesus. Ma priva kapozoto yibre ke pesete yibra kamanta. Ne krike te sete yibre ke monto soko yibre ve ke pusha te yakadasa. In the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, avail for me tonight. Avail for me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak favor for me. Speak mercy. Speak help. Even as I pray in the name of Jesus. Manakrikete sendari bro fata sakashata yibre ke monto. Zabara bada bada yibre ke poza to yibre ke poza to yibre ke mansata yibre ke buso to yibre ke bosho. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed up.
Psalms 121 that we read, he said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Lift up your eyes to the hills. And sure, people of God, I beg you in the name of the Lord, please do not allow any form of destruction. David said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. The God that we are crying to God, we are crying to help for, is the God that created the universe. And we're going to be praying. Favor as a voice. And that voice must be recognized. If I know that, yes, I have, there is a link that Elder Bino knows. And I know that he will, if he gives me that link, I know that my life will not remain the same. And I'm looking at him and I say, ah, Elder, thank you. God bless you, sir. How are you doing today? And you're expecting. You're not saying anything. And he has what, what will turn my life around. That voice of favor must be recognized. When you speak and your voice is not recognized, it probably means that it lacked the element of favor. We're going to be praying. All the disciples of Jesus, all the apostles, they cried when Jesus was nailed to the cross. But none of them had the influence to request for his body, except Joseph of Arimathea. When he asked, he was not denied. Why? Because Pilate could not turn him down because of his influence. You're going to be praying, Father, give me influence. Make me an authority in the field you have established me. In the gift and talent that you have given me. In the ministry that you have committed into my care in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray in the precious name of Jesus. In that same line, there are some go-to people. In that same field, there are some people that decisions will not be made until they show up. Until they ask them. Father, Father, give me influence. Father, Lord, give, make me, O oh Lord, an authority in the field that you have established me in. Father, in the gift and talent that you have given me, Lord, I pray, give me influence. Give me influence. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the ministry you have committed into my care. Father, make me, O Lord, an authority in the field Makata saka shoko ye kete seke yi kadasa. Meki papoto son kote ri braka pasaka yi krekebo. In our academics, oh Lord. Among churches, oh Lord, in Randerstown. Father, give us of change influence. Father, make us, oh Lord, authority and authority. Among churches, oh Lord, even in Maryland, even in the United States of America, in the world. My Lord and my God, that samba debari prako soko senke sheteria. Every member, Lord God, in House of Change, Father, in, in, the, in, in their careers, Lord, in the works of their hands, oh Lord. Father, Lord God, in their gifting and talents, Lord, in the name of Jesus, give us influence. Make us people of influence. Let people of influence, oh Lord, begin to rise even from this, from, from this assembly. In the precious name of Jesus. Makise peteri braka posoto seke seke shanka. Ye breke pusoto ye breke mandari braka boso. Zekete sete yi breke posa to yi breke mandari breke buso. Zepete yi breke posa to yi breke puso ko san kataria. Bari profond son ko seke shiki yadaba. Rivre pesende yi braka boto. Zankra kata saka shaka yi breke boso to yi breke me. For in Jesus precious name we are prayed. In Jesus name we are prayed. See it is good enough to know that God never loses a battle. But it is more important to know that God does not waste a battle. God does not waste battles. God said, I will do wonders in Egypt and Pharaoh will know that I am God. And that tells me that God is more interested in teaching Pharaoh a lesson than just winning the battle. When that happened, when God showed himself to Pharaoh, Except if I'm missing something, I don't, I've, I've, I've not seen another place in the scripture where Egypt arose against God's people. Why? Because God settled it once and for all. The people of Israel, they went around, you know, they were, the people, other people were fighting. As a matter of fact, the people that were fighting them, they were people that actually came out from them. The Moabites and all the other people. But Egypt, whenever anybody will raise it in the council of, you know, Egypt that these people serve. Let's try them one more time. 
I said, have you seen the records? Are you ready to wipe out your old army? Are you ready to lose your firstborn? <laughs> By the time they begin to ask those questions, they say, oh, no, don't, don't go to those people. Why? Because God settled the issue once and for all. There is a kind of help that God gives you against your enemies that send ripples in their camp. There is a kind of help that God sends your way that makes anyone that dares to fight you to consider themselves dead. Eh? You call his name. If you call his name for evil, just consider yourself dead. Why? Because God knows how he settles this thing. The Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter 2 verse 9, he said, and he said to the men, I know that, I'm talking about Rahab now, he said, I know that the Lord has given you the land, that the terror of you has fallen on us, and that all the inhabitants of the land are faint at the uttered because of you. You know what that means? So whenever you mention Israel, somebody will faint. <laughs> whenever they mention Israel, say, Israel, you mean they are, they are in our neighborhood? They say, ah, then we are done for. There is nothing we can do. You better start calling on a, whichever God that you know you can call upon because you know that these people, any, any, any place, any battle, that they, any battle that they face, they must, they must win it. God knows how we settle things. We want to pray. The Bible says there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any definition against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and Israel what God has wrought. Numbers 23, 23, you want to pray. Father, send me help that we handle argument and oppression in my life. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a help that we end all argument. There is a kind of help that ends all oppression. Father, makita so fonto. Ze krike te sente yi braka pa zata yi breke po zoto yi braka manta. Ze prike po zoto yi breke po zoto yi breke po shoto yi braka man. Ze petari prefeteri krike te zenka yi krea boto so pa ye badabo. My father, send me help. Send me help. Send me help. Help that we end all argument. Help that we end all oppression. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, Zakamando preke bisete yi preka pazata raba, rekreke te senke yi preke boso to rif reveke puso. Help, O Lord, that ends oppression. Help, O Lord, that ends argument. Father, send them my way. Father, send them my way. Father, send them my way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mando pari preke vuso to ri preke menta. Help, O Lord, that we end all battles. Ah, Father, help, O Lord God, that we make me a terror. Even, O Lord God, to everyone, O Lord, that may want to rise against me. Help, O Lord God, that we make every member of government, every member of government has of change a terror. To those seeking their downfall. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ze preke po zoto yi preke po shoto yi preke pese. Ze preke po zoto yi preke po zoto yi priya da ba saka shataria. Zankata sata ya braka po zoto yi preke bu soto yi ava. For in Jesus precious name we are praying. Uh, it is important people of God for us to pursue the promises of God. You are pursuing the purpose and the, and, uh, and, and the promises of God. As long as you are in pursuit of the purpose and promises of God, whatever comes your way becomes a walkover. Why? Because those problems, those situations, they are daring to hinder the God that cannot be stopped. You are pursuing the will of God. You are in the will of God. You are in his purpose. You are pursuing the promises of God. And somebody will say that he will stand in your way. Even if you don't even if you don't, you have a slight idea of who God is. Just check the works of his creation. The same God created an ant. The same God created an elephant. And there is an adage where I came from that says that uh, the weeds, or I don't know whether I'm interpreting it correctly, that says that the elephant should not go. He's going together with the elephant. Why? Because it's, it's not enough. He's not, he's not empowered to stop an elephant. The elephant that pulls down trees whenever he's going about, you know, in the, in the forest. You want to pray, people of God. We're going to be praying. When the children of Israel were pursuing uh, the promises and, the, and, 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 and uh, the promises of God, by heading towards the promised land, Jericho showed up. Some people said, you know, some people said the walls of Jericho fell down flat. But I was thinking about it. 
you know, I was just thinking that if a war that could, um, you know, scholars said that a standard chariot, that it can take about five chariots, you know, side by side. That's the wall of Jericho. And it's so wide to the extent that Rahab was able to build the house on the wall, on the fence. So even if that wall, even if it falls flat, the flatness is still a wall. <laughs> the flatness is still a wall. But he fell in such a way that he became a stepping stone. He became a ramp into what God has promised. If you want to pray, people of God. The Lord told me that there was somebody going through a bitter experience. But God wants you to know that that prison experience is a pathway into your purpose. He said it is a pathway into the promises of God. Joseph said you meant it for evil. No, but God turned it around for my good. You want to pray. You, Father, by your divine help, turn my bitter experiences, my delays, my losses, my debt. Turn them around to favor me greatly. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father and my God. My Bapu Peteri Brafon Soto Yikri Hetese. Mandari Krekete Zenke Ye Braka Saka Saka Yakrakabo. Ripropo Soto Yipreke Mante. Sendari Krekete Zeke Yikri Adaba. Man Koto Soko Soko Yekriake Shente. Zabada Bada Bada Ribreke Mente Yibreke Bo Soto Ribreke Bo. Rifrakata Saka Yakrokoto Soto Ribreke Mente. Father, by your divine help, turn my bitter experiences. Father, turn my delays, turn my losses, turn my debt, turn them around, oh Lord, and favor me greatly. Favor me greatly by your divine assistance. Father, by your divine help, oh Father. Father, Father, by your divine help, turn, O oh Lord, my bitter experiences. Turn, O oh Lord, my delays. Turn my losses. Turn my debt around, O oh Lord, and favor me greatly. In the mighty name of Jesus. Zemanda praka pozoto yi preke pozoto yi breke mente. Zapata li preke pozoto yi breke pozoto yi breke pozoto yi breke bo. Zekreke te sete yi preke pozoto yi preke pozoto yi vrieta sanda. Zaka saka yi preke pozoto yi vriena masa. Zekete zeke sete li braka ba. Ma pata zanta li preke voso. Zepreke pozoto yi preke pozoto yi preke pozoto yi kiada. For in Jesus precious name we are prayed. People of God, it does not matter how far the devil has gone. He cannot stop the plans and purposes of God for your life. While the devil was busy planning the execution of the, of the Jews, God was also busy. He was planting and strategizing and, you know, planting Esther into the palace. They did not understand what God was doing. The scripture says, if the princes of this world had known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. They were, you were busy planning, this is how we're going to do it, raising people, convincing the king, making sure that they got the seal of the king. And God was also busy planning the way of escape for God, for his people. He was planting Esther in the palace. And when, by the time, the time came for, you know, before their own day of evil could come, God overtook them. You want to pray? That Father, at every junction of my life and destiny, position help for me. They, they, you know, they, 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 were, they, were planning, they were planning against the Jews. They hated them with passion. You can imagine Haman spending his own money and looking at Mordecai every time he was going into the king's palace and he would see Mordecai. Say, say you, before you know it, your head is going to be hanging of one of my, of one of my gallows. Not knowing that God was already planning and already strategizing help for him and his people. You want to pray, Father, help me. Don't let me be helpless. At every junction of my life, my destiny, position help for me. Help me to always be ahead. Frustrate the agenda of the evil of my life and destiny perpetually. Let's begin to pray in the precious name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. Let's go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, at every junction, 
at every point of my life and destiny. Father, position hell for me. Position hell for me. Help me, O oh Lord, to always be ahead. Help me to always be ahead. Frustrate the agenda of the devil. Frustrate, O oh Lord, the agenda of the devil over my family, over my life, over house of change, over every member represented, over every member, O oh Lord God, worshiping in this church. In the precious name of Jesus, turn around, O oh Lord. The agenda, O oh Lord, get even of the enemy, O oh Lord, to favor us. In the precious name of Jesus, Father, position help, O oh Lord, for us. Position help for us. Position help for our children. Position help, O oh Lord God, in the areas of our careers. In our ministries, O oh Lord. Father, matite sikete potori brakavasa. Zenkete sete yipreke puzoto yipreke mente. Zapraka pazata yipreke puzoto yipreke manta. Zepete yipreke puzoto yipreke puzoto yipreke manta rabrabos. In the name of Jesus, position help all of us. For in Jesus' precious name we are praying. In that, in that text, in our text for um, the supernatural night of wonder, snow, Psalm 121 said, David said, I will lift up my hands to the hills from when comes my help. When I am lifting up my eyes to the hills, I don't see any other thing, any other person, but I am connected to God. So as you are lifting up your eyes, you are looking up, make sure that your eyes is not being focused on any other thing, but is focused on God. Otherwise, you're not going to get the type of result I'm going to get. You're not going to get the type of result for that some that for, for uh, the, the type of result someone that is focused on God. So as we are praying, ensure that your mind is not any is not in any other place. J uh, David said, "I will lift up my eyes to the hills. I will I will focus on God. I will put my gaze on Him, and I will ensure that my gaze does not even leave Him." We we read in the scriptures when 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 when, when Peter saw the wind boisterous. He was facing Jesus, but the time came when he decided to look at the storm. He decided to look at the wind. From that point, he started sinking. You want to pray, people of God. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 says, You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. When God passed through the land of Egypt, he helped the Israelites, but he killed the Egyptians. You want to pray that, Father, tonight is my night. My heart is stayed on you. Pass through my life and help me. God passed through Egypt and the same land. He killed some people and he spared some people. You want to pray, Father, pass through my life, O oh Lord, in this snow. But when you pass through my life, what I want you to do for me is to help me. What I want you to do for me is to restore me. What I want you to do for me is to perfect all that concerns me. As you are passing through my life in this snow, Father, help me. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, Mancata saka saka shaka yakada, riprabo son tototoria, rekendese ibra capo zotori brekebo. Father, pass through my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Pass through my life, O Lord, tonight. As you are passing through my life in this snow, Father, help me. Father, restore me. Father, help me. Father, restore me in the precious name of Jesus. Father, destroy the agenda of the evil one. As you are passing through my life, as you are passing through us of change, even in this snow, in the name of Jesus, we pray for restoration. Father, we pray, O Lord God, for abundance. We pray, Father, Lord God, for healings in every way. In the precious name of Jesus, my Lord and my God. Pass through, O Lord God, our lives to help us. Pass through our church, O Lord, to help us. Pass through our families to help us. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us receive help. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, let us receive help in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us receive help in the mighty name of Jesus. Manabo prapa sata yi preke pozoto yi preke pozoto yi preke manta. Zekete sete yi preke puzoto yi preke pusha tarikri For in Jesus' precious name we are praying. Thank you for praying. You see, people of God, many times 
We pray for keys. Forgetting that um, it is only when you see a door that a key is useful. But what happens when all you see, there are all walls and there are, and there are no doors? What will you use the key for? When you stand and found out that there is no provision for a key, you need to stop looking for principles. It is a strategy that you need. It is a strategy that you need. And when you say, what, what is a strategy? A strategy is a system of help that delivers, to, to, that delivers grounds that no one has ever traded upon. Nobody has ever conquered Jericho. That Joshua will sit down and say, how did you do it? What was, what was the thickness of the wall? The gates, what does it look like? So there is no key, there is no hint to destroying Jericho. And God told Joshua, he said, what you need is a strategy. And God told him, when you get there, just be going around, just march around. First day, second day, third day, when he got to the seventh day, they marched round Jericho seven times. And God said, shout. And that was a strategy. And that strategy, then the wall of Jericho came trembling down. Why? Because God gave a strategy. If you see something that another man has accomplished, what you need is a key. If, if the candidate has already accomplished something, I need the key. Say, sir, how did you do it? Give me the key, please. But if I'm trying to accomplish something that I don't see anyone that has, uh, that has accomplished in my family, that no one has accomplished around me, I need to go to God and say, God, I need a strategy. There is no door here that we can look at. It is, I need your strategy to be able to, to bring this down. You want to pray that, Father... By your divine assistance, give me the strategy that will make me on top, that will put me on top. Give, deliver to me the blueprint for successful outcome in all realms. Deliver to me, Lord, the blueprint for successful outcome. Father, go ahead and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, by your divine assistance, deliver, deliver to me. The strategy that will, that will put me on top, that will always make me to be on top in the precious name of Jesus. You said in your word that I shall be the head and not be next. I will, I, will not, I will not be the tail. I will be above only. Father, I pray. By Father, that you deliver to me in this snow, in this snow. Deliver to me, O oh Lord, the strategy that will make me be on top. Father, Lord God, in, my, in, in, in the ministry, O oh Lord God, that you have established me. Father, Lord God, even in... In my work, oh Father, Lord, in my career, in my family, Father, deliver to me, oh Lord, the strategy, the strategy that will make me to be on top, that will, that will, that will, that will, that will always make me to turn out to be the winner. In the precious name of Jesus, deliver to us, oh Lord, by your divine assistance, by your divine help, in the name of Jesus, deliver to us the blueprint that will always make us to be on top. Deliver to us, oh Lord, the blueprint that will always make us of change. Lord to be on top. Deliver Lord to every family in House of Change. To everyone in this church the strategy, the strategy to always be on top. In the precious name of Jesus. To always win at all times. In the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver to us in Jesus name. Father we ask that you deliver to us. Makato se peteri breke po zoto yi breke pu zoto yi breke be. Mankata sata yi breke pu zoto yi breke pu zoto zen kreke te seta yi breke pu zoto yi breke yadaba. Mankata saka sheke yi breke buso to ri breke buso. Zem pete ri praka pa zanta ri breke po zoto yi breke yadaba. Kasata yi breke po zoto yi breke buso to ria. Zankata sa pa to ri breke fiata za. Father, the blueprint for successful outcomes in our aims. Deliver it to us. Father, deliver it to us. Father, deliver it to us. Deliver it to us, O Lord. Let our children, O Lord God, be always on top. Father, in our careers, let us be always be on top. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. In that book of Joshua chapter 6, verse 1. The Bible says that now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. Jericho was securely, meaning that they did not leave room for chance. It was securely shut because of the children of Israel. And the Lord said to Joshua, hey, 
Say, oh, see, oh, say, look at them, oh. Look at them. They have securely shut up all the walls. But do you know that I have given you the land? I'm sure Joshua will ask that God, how is that possible? Look at all these places. Look at the walls. There is no place of even going in. The people are not ready to come out. We know that they are afraid of us. They are not ready to even challenge us. They have shut themselves in. There is no way that you can go in. There is no way you can go out. Said, and God gave him a strategy. March around the city six days. The seven priests shall bear seven, uh, shall bear seven trumpets of rams of rams on before the dark. But the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, and the priest shall blow the trumpet, and it, in, and it shall come to pass that when they make a blast with the horns with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, that all the people shall shout with a great shout. Then the wall of the city will fall down flat. And the people shall go up, every man straight before him. When God gives you a city that no one has conquered before, like I said earlier, that's when you need a strategy, not the key. It is only when you are broken through with divine strategy. It is after that. Anyone that now wants to use the method, not, that is when it becomes a key. We're going to be praying, people of God. The strategy was to shout, and the walls came down. We're going to be praying, people of God. Our Father, deliver, show me the strategy to assess the help that befits my destiny. There is a help that befits your destiny. There are some people that when all they need all they need to do all, all what people needs to do is just to see you with them just, just you know just sit with them and just talk and maybe you took a picture and when you post the picture on facebook people will be asking that ah, this person has gone far just by seeing a picture maybe you met the person that, wait, maybe you met the person anywhere ah, wow this person has gone far you mean how are you how, how did it, how did it happen you were able to Gain access to this person just by taking the picture. And the people that will not give you attention from there, they start to give you attention. There is a help that befits your destiny. You want to pray. Father, as you are passing through, God is passing through. <laughs> God is passing through in this snow. And there is a reason. There is a reason why snow is five days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday signifies, I'm sorry, five signifies grace. What human effort cannot accomplish. Father, there is a help. There is a strategy. There is the kind of help that befits this life of mine. There is a kind of help that befits this church. Right now we are praying that God, just like the, children, just like the sons of the prophet, that God, the place where we are is too small for us. And that is our cry. There is a help that befits this church. There is a help that befits your family. You want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as you are passing through my life in this snow, Lord, show me the strategy to assess the help that befits my destiny. You know the help that befits your destiny. Let's go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Father, I pray that you show me the, show me the strategy, the strategy to assess says the help that befits this life of mine. Father, Lord God, you show me the strategy, Lord God, to assess the help that befits, the, that befits my life. Show us, oh Lord God, the strategy, oh Lord, to assess the help that befits this church. In the precious name of Jesus, help us, oh Lord. Open our eyes. Open our understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus, bring help, oh Lord, to us. Bring help, oh Lord, to us, Father. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Please, uh, please let's make sure we're praying. And please don't let us stop the prayers here. Let's keep praying. 9 a.m. tomorrow, the program is starting powerfully. And also in the evening, also Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday is the grand finale. You don't want to miss it. There's something that God is stirring up. That by the time, by the time, by the time, that the time 
whereby the time we get to Friday, God told uh, 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 Joshua, he said, march round seven, six days, and the seventh day, go round seven times, and shout, that is the strategy. God is giving us a strategy the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day. But on the fifth day of snow, on Friday by 6.30, by the time snow is finished, ah, people of God, you will see that every wall surrounding you, every symbolic wall of Jericho, they must come, you know, crumbling down in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to be praying. You see, all the, all the chiefs of Pharaoh, Potiphar, call them whatever thing that you want to call them. They were building their lives, and that was why, that's what they did for Moses. They were already putting Moses in line. They were teaching him different things. That this is what you need to do in order for you to become the next Pharaoh. This is what befits somebody that, is, that should be in the palace. They've been working and teaching them like that. And we could see, but in one day, Joseph became the prime minister. They've been breeding all the other people in Egypt. Breeding Potiphar. Breeding all those other people. Only for them. They don't, they don't even know whether they will, they, will, they will even get as close to the prime minister. But in one day, Pharaoh said, there's an issue. And with all the trainees in the land of Egypt, we don't see any man that is as wise as you. A man that has never received the training. Can you see divine help, people of God? You want to pray that, Father, by your divine assistance, redeem my lost and wasted years. Father, redeem my lost and wasted years by your divine assistance. When Potiphar put, put Joseph in prison, he thought, he thought, he thought that he was wasting his time. He, he thought he was wasting his destiny. When his brothers were selling him into Egypt, they thought that, yes, that they were ending his destiny. They were destroying him. But God divinely assisted him. God assisted him divinely. Father, by your divine assistance, redeem my lost and wasted years. Every year I have lost. Every year I have lost. Father, redeem. Redeem. Lord, redeem and restore. Yes, redeem. Redeem and restore. Father, redeem and restore. All my wasted years, Lord. All my wasted years. All my lost years. All my wasted resources. Father, redeem and restore. In the name of Jesus, by your power, redeem. Redeem and restore. Redeem and restore. In the precious name of Jesus. Zenkata sata yi preke po zoto yi preke pu soto yi preke pu soto ya. Zekete sata yi preke pu soto yi preke yada baba. Mankata pa sata yi preke pu soto yi preke pu soto yi ki yada for in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Amen. Isaiah 66 verse 8. He said, who has heard such a thing? Who has heard such things? Shall the earth be made to, to give birth in one day? Or shall a nation be, shall, I, or shall a nation be born at once? He said, for as soon as Zion was in labor, she gave birth to her children. The scripture did not tell us that, that, that Zion was, was pregnant. But the Bible said, as soon as she was in labor, he said, he said Can, shall a nation be, be born at once? God knows how to restore the wasted years for you. We're going to be praying because of our prayer, because of our, uh, you know, because of our time, we want to really move fast. He said, um, the next prayer, we know, people of God, that it is not in God's nature to fail. God will always make a way. When Jeroham, the son of, 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 um, of Ahab, and Josaphat, they went to battle against the Moabites, and they were out of water, and Elisha was called, and I believe there was a debate, and probably Elisha was asking the people, now look at your state now. Look at where you have driven yourself. Now, what do you think, how do you think God will give you water? I say, well, ah, well, God is God, you know, he can, he can, you know, the cloud can suddenly become black now and there will be rain. Or, you know, something can happen, a wind can blow, or we can even decide to dig wells. And if you dig well in the desert, you know, it's, very, it's, it's almost impossible to get water. And I believe Elisha was telling them, he said, none of those things that you have mentioned, 
you will not see any of those things, but yet you will still get water. Therefore, we want to pray, people of God, that Father, my destiny needs help. My family needs help. My ministry needs help. My purpose, my assignment needs help. And I know that with you, there is no impossibility with you. Lord, have mercy on me today and help me. Every option that was available to them, they thought the rain would fall. They thought probably a wind would blow and water would come. But Elisha said, you will not, you're not going to see rain. You will not see wind. And yet, all these valleys, all these empty valleys that you are looking at, they shall be filled. Why don't we cry to that God? Say, Father, my destiny needs help. My family needs help. My ministry needs help. My purpose, my assignment needs help. Let's go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In this snow, Father, as you are passing through, as you are passing through my life, as you are passing through all of this church, Father, as you are visiting us all mightily, in this snow, Lord, 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 help us. Help my destiny. Help my family. Help my ministry. Help my purpose. Help my assignment. Lord, there is no impossibility with you. There is no impossibility with you. Father, help us. Lord, help us. Help us. Have mercy on us and help us today. Help us in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. People of God, you will agree with me that it is not in it is not in the principle of greatness for any man to rise by himself unassisted. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 23, it says, O oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not man that works with direct his steps. There are things that God gives you. There are, things that, there are things that God brings your way. I heard of a story about a man long ago. I believe I was, I was probably a teenager then. Uh, there was a story of a man, a lawyer. He was struggling as a lawyer. And God told him, he said, rise up. And he stood up. He said, you can wear your, you know, wear your gown and the wig, wear everything. He was dressed as if he was going to court. He said, yes, God, I'm here. And... He went and said, God said, get into your car and keep driving. And he was driving and driving and he got to an hotel. And God said, stop here. Go into that hotel, sit in the lobby. And he sat in the lobby and he was like, like, he was like God, you know, anything you tell me to do, I will do. But right now, I'm, I'm looking at myself as being a fool because I really don't know. If anybody will challenge me right now, I don't know what I'm going to tell them. And all of a sudden, a, somebody just came, a white guy, back in Africa, the white guy sat down and he was discussing, he was on the phone and he was discussing and he was very, very frustrated. He came to sign a deal in Nigeria and the law firm that he was going to use, they were giving him a lot of issues, they were not available and he was frustrated, he was really, really angry. And by the time he hung up the phone, he just saw a lawyer sitting down and he was like, ah, this is divine provision. And he was now telling the lawyer his, his, his problems. And the lawyer said, oh, wow. Anyway, um, well, if, you, if you really don't mind, you know, that's what we do and things like that. And that contract, it turned the generation of that man around. Why? Because he obeyed God. It is not man that works to direct his steps. So if you think that you can calculate, if you think that you can plan and plan accurately, you may be wrong. But if God will help you, God's help, Will, 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 you know, will, will, will go beyond your level of planning. Therefore, we want to pray. It's good to plan, people of God. It's good to plan. We're going to be praying. The story of Mephibosheth revealed that the title that you answer to may not reflect your actual status. Mephibosheth was a prince, yet his condition repelled even the caliber of servants that should be in the, in the palace. He was not even meant to be there. But something came true for him. You want to pray that, Father, whatever is separating me from the destiny you have called me to fulfill, by your divine help, separate me from them and help me. Help me fulfill destiny 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray, let's pray. Father, whatever is separating me from the destiny you have called me to fulfill, by your divine help, Father, Lord, separate me from them and help me to fulfill destiny. Help me, Father, to fulfill destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to fulfill destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name, Lord, we are praying. Hallelujah. The book of 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 27. And he said, he said, if the Lord does not help you, where, where can I find help from you for you? From the threshing floor or from the wine press? Then the king said to her, what is troubling you? And, and she answered, this woman said to me, give me your son that we may eat him today and tomorrow eat my son. We brought my son today and hurt him. And I said to her the next day, give us your son that we may eat him. But she has hidden her son. People of God, the level, I believe you are aware that your present level is as a result of how much help that you have received. And this word is made in such a way that there is no one that would not need help at one point or the other. Now, people of God, when it occurs that your helper needs help, they know that you are in trouble. You know that. If your helper is in trouble, the person that you are looking at to help you, and what does that mean? That means that you are a victim of his limitations. And therefore, if we now come under God, we know that with our God there is no limitation. There is no limitation with him. Therefore, we want to pray that, Father, remove all limitations on the part of my helper. Instruct or command them to help me. Let's pray that God will remove the person that God has ordained to help you. If they have problems, they're not going to think about you. There is an African adage that says that if fire is on a parent and the same fire is also on the child, you will first of all remove the one on your own body first before you take care of the one on the child. So while they are trying to solve their own issue, they are already blind to your own side. So you want to pray that, Father, remove all limitations on the part of my helper. Instruct them, command them to help me in the precious name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Father, makata zapatari breke bozo to ye breke bozo. Zenke te se piada badure breke beze te ye breke bozo to ye breke bozo to ye breke bozo. Zenke te se piada batari breke bozo to ye breke bozo to ye breke bozo to ye breke bozo. Remove help, O oh Lord. Remove help, O oh Lord. Remove, remove, O oh Lord. Remove, Lord. We are remove limitations. Limitations. Remove limitations, O oh Lord, from the part of my helper. Father, instruct them, O oh Lord. Command them, O oh Lord, to help me in the precious name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we are prayed. Let's go to the last prayer because of our time. Let's go to our prayer, the last prayer before because of our time. I want to please request for Odovisha to help send the prayers to everyone. Now, uh, prayer number 14, that's going to be our last prayer for tonight. In the book of Exodus chapter 13, verse 30, Exodus 33, 13. said, now therefore I pray, if I have found favor on your side, show me now your way, that I may know you, and that I may find grace in your sight. And consider this nation is your people. And the Lord said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Abraham also in Genesis chapter 18, he said, my Lord, if I have found favor in your sight, said, do not pass by on your servant. Psalm uh, 106 verse 4. He said, remember me, O Lord, with the favor you have towards your people and visit me with your salvation. There is a people that, there is a, there is a kind of favor, there is a kind of help that is common to the people of God. The people of God are never stranded, people of God. When you look into the scripture, you see how God helped, helped, helped the children of Israel. He helped his people. He helped Abraham. He came, out from a, he came out from a family that was not known. And God made him a name. He became his friend. And God, God, God favored him greatly. The people of Israel, they go to the Red Sea and the Red Sea opened up. You want to pray, people of God. The favor that God showed his people is that favor that forced Egypt to pay for the wages of 430 years in one day. It is the same favor that made the same angel that killed the firstborn in Egypt to spear the firstborn of the Israelites. It is the same favor that made them walk on the path that no one has ever walked. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that they ate the food of angels. 
He made them a terror to nations all around them. He permitted no one to do them harm. Psalm, Psalm 46 verse 5 said, he said, God is in the midst of her, therefore she shall not be moved. God shall help her and that help will be early. That help will be right before the break of dawn. You want to pray? Father, remember me with the favor you have towards your, your people. And every area that you need help, go ahead and begin to mention it. Go ahead and begin to mention help. Father, remember, remember me. Remember me, remember me. Father, ma krekete se patari breka pu zoto ye breke po zoto ye breke bo zoto ye breke busha. Zen krekete se piada ba krekete bo In Jesus' name we pray. When our back was against the wall, and it looked as it was over, you made a way. And we're standing here only because you made, you move mountains, you cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing in only because you made a way. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you tonight. Thank you for your mighty hand. Thank you for your servant, which you have opened his eyes and you have placed your unction on his life. Thank you for the manifestation of your presence. Thank you for uh, hearing our prayers tonight. Be exalted in Jesus' name. We pray that you continue to strengthen your servant in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that your glory will continue to shine upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus that will go from glory to glory. And that our life will never remain the same again. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, somebody that Lord Shum, where I was sitting down, it looks like an evil bird always sabotage your, the work of your hand. I command the fire of God to destroy that bird in the mighty name of Jesus. So another person, I don't know whether on your left side, looks like, I don't, in fact, it's even irritating me. It looks like, like maybe something your internal organs is like decaying or, or, or like so there are some worms that are decaying. I command the power of God upon this house to go to where you are now and heal you completely in the mighty name of Jesus. That person that is battling with cancer, may the power of God in this place stretch out to you now and restore you whole in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It's a wonderful time. This is offering. It's time to give our offering unto the Lord, please. You can give online, www.thehouseofchange.org slash give, or slash give. It's been a wonderful time. You know, we heard the morning was powerful. The evening was so powerful. Uh, we know God is doing awesome things. This is the supernatural and I have a wonders, please. It is not just an ordinary program. It's not, we, don't, we don't just make a program because we don't have nothing to do. Is because Jesus wants to help us. Father, we sanctify this offering. Let them bless us. Let them be a blessing to your work. And let the heavens open to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, um, again, this supernatural night of wonders, help is on the way. You know, the man of God says something. I mean, it's among all the key things he said tonight. He said, the people of God are never stranded. Wow. I, I think... Uh, that's just, if that's the only thing you can take tonight, it will help you. So get people, get people to be at the right place. Let them be at the right place. Let them um, um, be at the right place at the right time. 
because as we said yesterday, if you are not where God is, you can't access his help. So make sure you watch it. Make sure you be there because God is ready to help us. God is ready to make a difference in our lives. And he's going to, you're not going to be let down because you have joined in snow and you believe and you fasted and you, you know, and you go, your faith will never be disappointed in Jesus' name. Tomorrow again, 9 a.m. in the morning, share it on your walls. If your wall doesn't have snow, your wall, that wall is useless. Make sure you put snow on your wall. I'm, I'm telling you, whatever that, cannot, that, you cannot use to, that you cannot use to propagate the gospel of Christ, then that thing is useless. Because every part of you is supposed to give glory to God. Every part of you is supposed to evangelize the message of God. So make your wall useful. <laughs> Put a, put a snow on it, and again, it's, it's a wonderful time. People need help, so please, let's share it. And you also will be blessed for doing it in Jesus' name. Let's share it. Put it on Facebook, put it on Instagram, whatever platform you use, Snapchat, anything. Put it there, and let them know that Jesus is in town. Amen. 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, 7 p.m. in the evening, all the way to Thursday. Jesus has promised to help us each session. And then on Friday at 6.30 p.m., the grand finale, Testimonies are coming in. God is still doing miracles. I mean, you just wait till Friday when I begin to read some of those testimonies. And you know that God is at work in this house. So be encouraged because God is also going to do yours in Jesus' name. Glory be to Jesus. We thank God for starting with us in a very beautiful way today. We had a very beautiful time in his presence in the morning. And this evening has been awesome as well. And we thank God for his minister, whom he has used to be a blessing to us. May God bless you, sir, in Jesus' name. Tomorrow morning, by the grace of God, we shall be teaching on the topic, Unusual Help in Unusual Times. Unusual Help in Unusual Times. You don't want to miss the teaching and the prayer. And I'm trusting God for you that the help of God will not elude you in Jesus' name. Please let us pray. Father, we thank you because your word says, I has not seen, ear has not heard, and neither has it come into the heart of man what God has prepared for those who love him. Thank you because, Lord, what you have prepared for us this week is really, really mind-blowing. Oh, God, we receive great faith to receive everything that you have in store for us this week in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. All your ministers that you'll be using, oh God, we ask that you give them sufficient unction for their assignment in the name of Jesus. We will sleep tonight. No one will make us afraid. It will be a night of divine visitation, a night of supernatural revelation in the name of Jesus. And tomorrow we shall be blessed abundantly to the glory of your name alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Our anchor for with God, nothing will be impossible. Luke 137. Year 2020 is my year of supernatural turnaround. May is my month of divine presence. Amen. Therefore, I am blessed and highly favored. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Psalm 91, 10 to 11. No evil shall befall me, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Go and win. See you tomorrow.